want to make extra money, you are at the right place. Today's topic, easy side hustles online. Before we start, welcome back. Hi, my name is Nan and I'm the content creator at Mompreneur Life, where I express opinions about lifestyle products, talk about making money online, and vlog about life as a mommy entrepreneur. Now, back to easy side hustles online. And first and foremost, do not let the title fool you. If you want to make money, even just $1, there is no easy way to do that because making money online, offline, doesn't matter. It requires hard work, effort, skills, and sometimes good luck. By easy, we mean relatively easy, and especially if it's something that you can do online. Today, we're not going to go crazy. We're not going to list hundreds of things. Just nine simple ideas separated into three categories, and most of these you can start today. Before we start, it helps to define a reason for wanting to have a side hustle because the reason keeps you going strong when things get hard. Whether it's to save up for a big purchase, like a car or down payment, or to save up for a startup fund for your business, or to just spend your time wisely and instead of spending money, you make money, or to pay off debt. Doesn't matter the reason, but do have one, write it down and post it somewhere. So that way, your side hustle is no longer just some idea, but something of value. I'm going to be very blunt. Skill-based side hustles are the best. And the more in demand your skills are, well, the more you earn. And if you don't have any of those skills yet, you can always pick them up. Skills like digital marketing and especially SEO, content strategy, and social media marketing, they're especially in high demand. What else? Well, technology, of course, and especially web development, data analytics, coding, software engineering, and design. Other skills that you may not even think of or even consider skills are writing and especially copywriting, voiceover, and spokesmodel. Being able to sell one of the most useful yet undermined skills. And if you have it, you might as well monetize it. Now, if you don't have any of these skills, but you want to pick them up, educate yourself. There are platforms online like Coursera or Teachable that will teach you any of these skills. If you want to learn for free, there's also a place called YouTube University. Nowadays, to learn something, you're literally three YouTube videos away. So once you do have these skills, how can you turn them into side hustles? Number one is you can sell it as a gig. And I recommend Fiverr because I've been using it since 2010. On Fiverr, you can create your own gig. For example, copywriting, translating, graphic design, whatever you want. You make it live for the world to see and you let your clients come to you. But of course, this is quite passive and there's a lot of competition. So you want to hustle a little more in the beginning. Join Facebook groups, trade gigs with other providers. You can also bid on gigs and expand your services. You might also run into bad clients and you're going to have to manage them. There's money to be made, but like I said before, it's not easy. But if you have a gig that's high in demand, like coding or development, you can certainly generate income on the side. There's another marketplace called Upwork. Now this is more for freelancers and unlike Fiverr, Clients would post projects and as an independent contractor, you would have to make bids. You may have to go through an interview process, you may be rejected a few times. So basically, you're really trying to sell your services. But if you're successful and you're good, you'll have recurring clients and you'll make money. Next is you can just teach your skills. Remember, there's YouTube University. What if you taught your skills on YouTube? Skills, especially demonstrable ones like knitting, 3D printing, photo and video editing, public speaking, and even personal grooming like makeup and hair artistry. Well, they may come naturally to you, but they're skills that others would want to learn. Of course, you're going to have to create a lot of free content first in order to gain a following. But when you do have a sizable audience, you can apply for advertising, reach out to sponsors, and create online courses at places like Teachable, Skillshare, and advertise these courses to your audience. The money is not immediate, but it's certainly a good side hustle that you can continue on, especially if you're passionate about what you're teaching. 
The second category is to sell things online. E-commerce is big and there are so many e-commerce platforms that you can explore. Number one is of course, well, you guessed it, Amazon. Being one of the biggest marketplaces, someone is always looking for a purchase. Of course, there are programs like Amazon FBA where you purchase inventory from overseas, store them at an Amazon warehouse, and all you have to do is the sales part. It takes time to research a product that's really in demand and you can get for less money. You would need to purchase programs like Jungle Scout and learn how to use it. Again, not an easy way to make money. Finding that golden product is painstaking, but if you find something that works, it's worth the trouble. Another marketplace is eBay. Yes, people still go to eBay for things that like collectibles, electronics, and sometimes fashion. And speaking of fashion, I recommend Poshmark. You can sell gently used items like designer accessories, clothing. It's a growing marketplace and a great way to earn some extra cash. Next is Etsy. Best for crafty people. You can make homemade goods, niche down to something unique and that people like, put it in your store and advertise anywhere you can. Best places are Pinterest, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Not every Etsy store will succeed, but if you enjoy making things and you don't mind working hard and advertising everywhere, then this may be an avenue for you. The last category is something task-based. So you're trading money for your time. It's my least favorite, but it does work. Number one is tutoring. There are sites online that you can tutor at. A popular one is VIP Kid. You may be on a wait list when you apply, so try to explore others as well. Our family used OutSchool and we were very happy with it. Once you're registered, you can create your own classes. There's a lot of freedom and the support is good. Next, you can always take surveys online. Popular ones are Swagbucks, Survey Junkie, and Branded Surveys. Companies are always looking for consumer opinion and that's an opportunity for you. Unfortunately, survey places, they don't make a lot of money. In other words, you're not going to get rich. But if you're just looking for some pocket money to spend without having to learn a new skill or do physical work, this may be a good idea. The last one is being a virtual assistant. Tasks such as setting schedules, responding to emails, and various administrative work. If you're organized and procedural, being a virtual assistant may be for you. And this is definitely something that you can do part-time. There are sites out there that you can apply to looking for virtual assistants. Who knows? Maybe you can even turn it into a full-blown business. Again, I must emphasize, there is no easy way to make money, not even for a side hustle and not even if it's online. And the best side hustle that I recommend is the one that will utilize or level up your skills. And especially if they're in-demand skills, the more skills you have, whether it's at a side hustle, your full-time job, or your own business, the more money you will make. Regardless, kudos to you for wanting more out of life. It all starts with wanting to live up to your full potential. And if that's manifested through having a side hustle, then you're one step ahead. With that, thank you again for your time. See you next time.